March arrived with endless showers and grey skies, only occasionally interrupted by very brief sunshine. The rain nourishes new shoots and delicate flowers, which are slowly popping open on fruit trees, bringing about a sense of hope, change and newness for the coming days. I know to many, the arrival of spring is marked by the equinox, the moment when the sun travels directly over the equator on its journey higher into the northern hemisphere sky. That's the astronomic spring, when day and night are the same length. But now is the time when I don't have enough patience to follow the stars. I prefer to think that spring has already begun on March 1st, marked by the arrival of a new meteorological season. I am ready to start a new season in my heart, and my heart is fully and irreversibly over winter. I seek little signs of change on my rainy walks, where tall daffodils burst yellow amongst tiny white snowdrops, beautifully framing the footpaths and road verges in my little village. I am usually alone on these country outings, as perhaps more sensible people choose to stay indoors on days like these, listening to the rain silently patter on the windowsill. I indeed felt pretty reckless going out in the rain that day after getting splashed by passing cars a few times, but I kept going forward hoping to be the first one to see nature's early awakening. Sometimes on colder days I daydream of summer, feeling sunshine's gentle warmth on my skin. I wanted to make something that would remind me of summer or transport me into the world that is not my own, but perhaps somewhere more south where lemons are currently still in season. I would like to learn how to live not in daydreams, but embrace the seasons as they come Perhaps seasonal cooking being a good place to start. I am making a lemon tart, which, now thinking about it, looks like this first bright yellow daffodil I'm looking at in my garden as I speak. See, I'm seeing spring everywhere and I would prefer this to be my general state of mind rather than the melancholy that occupied my brain for the past few weeks. I have a very strange relationship with cooking. Perhaps that's due to some previously developed ideas about life 
where cooking and baking and coming up with new ideas wasn't a productive pastime activity. I absolutely love preparing food, but a few years ago confessing love to such a domestic activity would feel inappropriate to my younger, burnt-out self. But just how people might choose to unwind watching movies or playing video games, I actually unwind when I cook. And as someone whose love language is quality time, I love sharing food as an experience and activity we can do together. If you ever visited my house, I'd probably be thinking very hard beforehand what to feed you and do a thorough research on foods you like. Anyway, the lemon tart. Sometimes I buy a similar kind of lemon tart at the store, as I simply love the zesty flavor of this dessert. This was my first attempt at making my own and, whilst it didn't turn out as pretty as I wanted it to, it turned out, if I dare say, more delicious than the one I used to buy. This recipe is incredibly easy to make, which, of course, it doesn't look like. Because even though I love to cook, I am also always short on time and pretty lazy, so if the food ends up tasting very, very good with minimal effort, that's the bonus in my books. I think, perhaps, the idea of cooking being too domestic of an activity implanted itself in my brain in childhood. I was always a tomboy and never associated myself with feminine activities, which I know is hard to tell looking at my videos. I refused to wear skirts until about early 20s. Things change, and preferences and opinions change, and that's okay, that's part of growth, and I'd say it's much stranger when people's opinions never change throughout life than when they change too often. And at this stage of life, I'm embracing every little joy that life brings, and surround myself and give to others as much light and beauty as I can. Perhaps that's what I want to do the most in life, regardless of what type of activity it is, making life a little bit more beautiful.